All right, a lot of you guys have asked us how to dry a dog. So here's Deuce sopping wet from his bath. He's not a happy camper. He does not like baths. But we are up on our table with a towel that helps wick away water as it comes off of him so I'm not re-drying it when it gets back on him. And he's in his noose and he, he's so sad. He wants you guys all to come and help him. <laughs> help him through his bat. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I dry. Don't know how the acoustics come uh, or will follow with this. Um, something I always have when I'm bathing a dog because this is kind of boring and terrible for them that they don't, it's just sitting up on a table doing nothing. So they love the time. Um, they do love my table and love the time, but the drying part gets boring. So I always have treats. So we can, I can offer him a peace offering for uh, sitting up here and getting completely clean. So I have a dryer. It's down here. It's rather heavy. So I've got my dryer, the obligatory hoses duct taped, cause you know, that happens. And I have what I find incredibly beneficial and I wouldn't do without is a flat, nose, flat nosed nozzle um, or for the hose. Um, so it's flat hose and uh, I wouldn't do it without any, this because any other nozzle curls the coat and I want it as flat as possible. Deuce is going through his year old uh, coat change so he's actually got quite a bit of dead coat that we're working with and I'm trying to get out um, as we groom. So it'll take a while. The biggest thing that I find people that uh, forget to do is this dryer helps you get straight down to the skin. So if you look at my video from the National with Riker, you have to get into the skin and if you see dry coat under there that's thick or that's a lighter color, that's dead hair. You want to be able to blow that out or blow and brush it out with a comb or with a, a brush. Now use a pin brush. So it's making sure you get out the dead coat. This is how I get out dead coat. I don't necessarily brush my dogs every day every week I really don't brush them I wash them once a month I use a pin brush and a dryer and I work hard on getting all the dead coat out as I'm drying so the best tutorial I can give is the legs go up get this dries up everything else can you stand oh stand I know it's tough everything else on the back goes down so and legs go up but you can get this down. I mean, there's some calyx. Some different dogs have different calyx. This, the middle, the inside, the stomach area, the rib cage, I go back and forth carefully not to twirl the hair so it knots. Because if you, if you dry in circles, you're going to get hair that goes in circles and knots up. You want to have steady uh, motions with the dryer going back and forth. How I get coat straight on the back is I go, back and forth with the flat nozzle flat. So I go back and forth like this. I'll try and turn it on and see if you guys can see it. I'll try and move you guys a little bit closer. Oh, going crazy on emotion. Okay, we'll try it here. So on the legs, I go up. Go up and down, up and down. Chest, I go up. Get some of the dead hair out here. back and forth back and forth and I move my hose towards the front end of the dog I don't go this way I go back and forth this way back towards the head of the dog so see how that coat lies down flat Let's see if I can get you guys even closer ooh, ooh, ooh. so I'm going back and forth this way but my hand is going towards the head of the dog. So that way the coat lies flat. And I'm getting down to the skin where I can see there's water. And I'm going back and forth, but toward my hand, the motion of the dry, whole dryer is going towards the front of the dog. So this way I can get this coat flat, the flat nose nozzle. I'm going this way. The rib cage, I go back and forth. Unless you have like a neutered coat, or a really long coat, you want to be careful 
and just going down and brushing because the, the hair will twirl and get into knots. Going up and down on the legs. Stand up, buddy. So again, back and forth, back and forth. And in here where there's a lot longer coat, I can go back and forth a little bit more because it's straighter hair. Hopefully that helps. I'll do a follow-up. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. And uh, I'll be uh, putting my earphones in and uh, enjoying a nice drive for a while.